Hey, welcome into Josh's smart home. Today, I'm really excited because I'm gonna be installing this real link track mix Wi-Fi. We're going to use it to dynamically monitor our backyard. We have a trampoline there. The kids play on and around the trampoline. So this will monitor the motion and be able to track, you know, where they're actually at and then bring that into view of the camera so that we can make sure we're monitoring wherever they move to in that area. So I'm really excited about it. So I'm going to go through and show you what's in the box. I'm going to talk about the specs of the camera. I'll show you what it's like to install. One of the most important parts, I'm going to show you what it's like when I move it into Home Assistant, so the Home Assistant integration of this camera. I'll show you what it's like when we're using the camera. You know, I'll be walking around the backyard, show you it tracking me, that type of thing. And then I'll give you my final thoughts to wrap everything up. So stay tuned. I really believe in high integrity. So it's important that you do know that Reolink did send this free of charge to me, but that's not going to impact my review. There's no strings attached. They're not reviewing the content ahead of time. They don't have anything I have to say. So it's all my honest opinion. All right, I got everything unboxed here and I can show you what was in the box. First of all, this camera, this thing feels solid, you know, really well built, um, definitely looks like a beast here. I'm really excited to get this one up, um, but you know, it has the uh, dual cameras here. We're gonna pull that off and, um, you know, it has the spotlights and everything. And it looks like it does rotate indeed, you know, around and up and down. So really excited to get this tracking in our backyard and getting the, a much better picture than what our wise camera does because it's not that great. Other things in the box, we have the power cord and an extension, which is a, I think it was four and a half meters, it said, for the extension. And I'm not sure how long this power cord is. I don't know, based on the comp, you know, maybe a meter. So about three feet for this. And I guess this is, a, you know, 12, 15 feet for the extension. We also have an Ethernet cable in here. And we have the screws and anchors for in the wall if you were using it in like drywall or something, which we're not going to be. And then we also have one of these things to, uh, you know, a little pin to be able to push out for the uh, SD card, I guess, if you wanted to use that. And then finally, we have the brochures. My favorite out of the brochures is the worm tips. Not hot tips, but the worm tips. And in this case, it basically just tells you to update the firmware if you're having problems. So interesting worm tip there just for fun. But it has the mounting information, the fun Rio link sticker, um, a brochure for other information, and then the quick start guide. So let's go ahead and jump into the specs. This thing has some awesome specs. It's 4K, eight megapixels at 25 frames per second. It has 6X hybrid zoom. It has the two-way audio. It has the IR, um, you know, LEDs for lighting up at night. They can work up to 100 feet. So that's, you know, about 30 meters. Like I mentioned, it supports the auto tracking and it rotates 355 degrees around. So all but all the way around and then up and down, it goes 90 degrees as well. So you have a whole lot of area that it can track. And speaking of tracking, it has the AI. So it can detect motion, obviously, but it can also detect people, vehicles, and pets. So it has that AI built in. It works with Google Home. It works with Home Assistant, which I'll be showing you here in a little bit. And then it also has the dual Wi-Fi, the 2.4 gigahertz or five gigahertz. So with the specs out of the way, let's go out and get this thing installed. So the first step to installation is using the included ethernet cable to plug your camera directly into your Wi-Fi router and then giving it power. So let me plug it in. All right, at this point, you grab your cell phone and you hit the plus and then you scan it and immediately it shows up right in the app and it says uninitialized and it's, you know, initializing the device and you put in your login information and then you follow the steps to connect it to your Wi-Fi network. And uh, it's pretty simple and straightforward and easy. And you can see at this point we have the live feed. So it's just in this closet here. Um, if you want to make any comments regarding what my closet looks like here for the network, uh, check out this link above and you can watch that video if you want and comment there. But um, in the meantime, you can see the two different cameras. So let's take this outside and get it installed there. So the first step to getting the Rio link installed is grabbing this wise camera and getting rid of it. Now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and uh, figure out where I want to put this. And I think I'm going to put it really the same spot. I might just cover that up so that I don't have to uh, try to pry this thing off because 
this thing's ridiculous um, and uh, might be there forever. So I think I'm just gonna install it right over top of that and the screws aren't gonna hit it. So that should be easy enough. So I'll uh, get this hung. And, and here I am with the NVR, I'm gonna add this camera. And, and it's as easy as selecting it from the list. And then I have to put in a password. And once I enter that, you can see it's starting to populate and it's gonna pull the feed and display right on the feed right here. So if I double click on that, I can bring up the camera feed. So we have both the feeds, the uh, wide frame as well as the tight frame here and everything works. So let's go ahead and jump over to Home Assistant and get it set up there. All right, now that we have it set up outside, it's physically installed and it's plugged in, connected to the Wi-Fi, and we did connect it over to the Reolink NVR through the network as well. It's time to get this Reolink track mix Wi-Fi set up into Home Assistant. So let's grab our phone and jump into the app and we're gonna look at the real link integration and we're gonna try to refresh it and see if we can pop it up that way. And just like that took, you know, seconds here. I'll put the time actually in the on the video so you can see how long it took, but that was it. And we can go in and now we can look for the uh, trampoline. So trampoline camera is there and we have the controls. So we have the floodlight, um, we can do the guard go to, I'd have to look at that. The um, you know tracking information we can do, the siren, the zoom, you can see whether or not there's um, animal or motion. So the motion's probably detecting some trees or, or that type of thing right now, but there's no animal, you know, no pets or uh, vehicles or people. And you can change the sensitivity here for all of that and the tracking information. There's a lot of options on this camera. So just tons of options on this camera. But we want to see, I guess we want to see, you know, the actual cameras. So let's look at this one. And we're just going to pull up the feed that they have auto loaded. I'm going to add in the other feeds here, um, you know, once we get everything set up. But we'll track this one first. And you can see we have the nice wide lens here. And then let's try the auto tracking lens and see what this one's like. And I might have just paused it by accident, but we'll give it a second. And just like that, we have the uh, auto tracking lens up. So works really well. Um, and you can see it's just labeled as trampoline camera two. So we have the uh, two sets of cameras here and I'm gonna go in and create some automations similar to some other um, home assistant you know, cameras that we've utilized. And if you want to see any of those cameras, um, I'll stick one of the links up here so you can see, you know, the uh, the setup in Home Assistant for the automation if you want, but it's a little redundant to do it right here. Again, super easy setting it up in Home Assistant. Only took me a couple of minutes and we're good to go. All right, I have it installed and it's in Home Assistant now. So I'm ready to show you what it looks like from the app and using the auto tracking and, and those types of features. So the first thing you'll notice is it's on the lower deck here and it's it's got a long distance to go to get to the house, um, but I haven't had any Wi-Fi issues. It's worked great. So no issues there. So that's a real plus because I was one of my concerns here was, you know, would the pool or something block it, but no problem at all. Good to go. So let's check out the auto tracking now. So I have it pulled up on my cell phone and what I'll do is I'll start moving around and see what happens. And immediately you see that bottom camera and I'm walking really slow. Um, you know, that bottom feed definitely pulls it in and tracks me and knows exactly where I'm going. Um, excuse the uh, super tall grass. It's rained here for a couple of weeks straight. So this is the first day it hasn't rained, but it's still super wet. Um, but that's why we got the Crocs. So you can see definitely uh, have the uh, tracking working really well. I'm going to test a little bit and see if I can go further away. So let me walk over this way and I'll walk over, try to stay in frame of where I think the camera can see me and see if I can get out a little further because I'm quite some distance away now. I want to say 50 or more feet away and it's tracking me really well at this point. And still no No issue. I mean, that's it. Press that. I lost me because it did zoom out. Let's see where it picks you back up. And there you can see, like, immediately it picks me back up. No issue at all. And um, can track me and identify me as a person and follow me around. So that's pretty darn neat. I wonder what happens if I go out of the uh, side of what the camera currently sees. Let's test that one yet. So you can see I'm approaching the side of where it's at. I want to see if it'll rotate for me. 
Does not do that. <sighs> That's not even right. Are you going to tell him? I I'm going to tell him. Bro. Okay, you got to go into the settings. There's a setting for it. It definitely does it. I don't know why you think it doesn't do it. That's stupid. Um, yeah, so don't be a knucklehead. Go into the settings. It's under detection alarm, and there's a couple different options in there. Check them out. Oh, really? Okay, well, let me jump into the app, and I'll show everybody. I appreciate that. So I'm going to go into the track mix camera, track mix Wi-Fi here, and we'll go into the settings, and we'll see if we can find what he's talking about. So he said to go to the detection alarm. So let's open that up. And I'm a little bit far out from the Wi-Fi here, so we might have a little bit of intermittent connectivity. Um, tracking type, I did switch it to digital first, and I did put in the horizontal tracking. So I'll show you what that looks like in here. And then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm actually uh, walking around with the camera. And here you can see, you know, it goes all the way over to the steps on that side and all the way over to the deck on this side, and it'll go back and forth. So let me show you what that looks like in action now that I know it does it. All right, so I jump back to the live stream here, and you can see the camera back here, and I'll show you what it looks like. So I'll walk off to this side, and you can see it's tracking me. And moves all the way over, and I'm probably right at the boundary here. And then I'll walk across and show you what it looks like as it moves back. So you can see as I'm moving out of the frame, it brings me back into the frame. I could be walking off pretty far. And I'm probably, you know, 30 some feet away at least, maybe 40 feet away at this point. And um, it'll zoom in and brings me up. And it's a really clear picture. You know, you can see it zooming in on me so you can get a good picture of who it is. And I'll walk back and it'll follow me. So really nice uh, feature here, works really well. Once you uh, stop being a knucklehead like I was and go ahead and set the right settings. So the tracking definitely works really great. And we appreciate you man in the theater for giving the advice, you're the real hero. What can I say, but you're welcome. And time for my final thoughts. This camera is amazing. I mean, you saw it was pretty easy to install and the integration into Home Assistant for my Reolink NVR is awesome, you know, and I have all the different automations that I'm gonna set up in there to match some of my other cameras. So that'll be all integrated directly in Home Assistant and that'll serve everything up to our cell phones. And the tracking, I mean, I buried the lead here, didn't I? The tracking is awesome. I mean, just watching how it, you know, can follow you throughout the yard as you're moving around and that type of thing, it's just, it's insane. Like this thing is awesome. So definitely if you're in the market for something that you need to have that tracking capability, I'd be looking at this rear link track mix Wi-Fi. Definitely one of the best cameras that I've seen. Um, highly recommend with the dual lenses, you know, the dual cameras to have the wide view and the focused view. It's just absolutely awesome. So I hope you enjoyed the video and make sure you like and subscribe so you catch future videos as I continue to build out my home with the Rio link. I have a couple more videos coming your way.